Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today's edition of Garage Makeover is going to be about my ceiling. I finally got all the steel hung. Uh, it was a first time effort for me and uh, it went okay. Having never done it before, uh, I learned a lot about hanging steel. Uh, and I'll probably point out a lot of the things I screwed up, but make no mistake, I'm completely happy with uh, the way this turned out. I needed a lightweight product to compensate for the fact that I've only got two by four ceiling joists on two foot centers, and I didn't want a lot of weight up there. Uh, knowing that I was going to put plywood on top so I'd have storage space for a little bit of stuff. So let's take a look. Black walls, white ceiling. So the ceiling turned out to be the single most expensive part of this project and the single most time consuming, labor intensive, should have thought things out more part of this project. I mean, I just wanted to insulate my garage and uh, it turned out to be, oh, I should have put a lot more thought into it. I mean, I didn't consider a lot of things like, well, the steel itself. I just figured eight foot length sounded good. I could handle that kind of weight, hanging it by myself. But you'll see, well, like you can see the end gap here. This eight foot panel ends short of this ceiling joist. And this next panel is supporting the end of this one. Well, this should have went right past that joist. And then this panel could have been underneath that one. So we wouldn't see this gap from the side of the room that you uh, are usually entering from. Uh, as far as screws being in straight lines, eh, even if I ran a string from here to that side, that string wouldn't have went through the center of that ceiling joist. Uh, if you remember back in March when I did the first edition of this makeover, I was putting, uh, sistering up all the ceiling joists to support them. And I mean, I was taking an inch or better sag out of parts of the ceiling. And some of that shows, I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch this on video, but uh, this joist is lower than this one. So the panel kind of goes up right here a little bit. That's the worst spot. Uh, no big deal, but it's not a very professional looking job. Uh, if you remember, I had to paint a lot of these panels. So this one I painted, this one's factory paint, those I painted. Um, that's just the way I peeled them off the pile. I think uh, all in all, I'll be happy with it. But if you're going to do this, just think about the steel panels and what length you need them. Think about the expense to cover both sides of those ceiling joists. This side with steel, the other side with plywood. Insulation in between. Uh, I, I got an air hose over there. I had to add power for that reel. I had to rewire for uh, cleaning up where the outlets were for the garage door openers. I still have to pop some holes in here and add uh, heating ducts. I haven't done that yet. Upstairs now, I've got a little bit of storage space here. 
you know, I probably got 10 feet going that way and over 20 feet going that way. Back here, I've got a small air compressor. It's on its own switch downstairs here. So I can turn it on when I need it. Oh, what else? I'm going to put some shelving on this wall. You see all that white paint splatter on there? That's what happens when you forget to put a rag on top of the paint can before you pound the lid down. Yeah, that was a bonehead move. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. But I gotta fix some stuff anyway. I gotta paint up there where I gouge the crap out of the wall. And see, there's a big gouge down here too. I'm not sure how that one happened. We'll get all that cleaned up here today. Um, there's your update on the single most expensive part of this garage makeover, which was the ceiling. So thanks for watching. Later.